how long can a strong display case withstand thieves? That's what we want to find out in this video. And we have invited Tobias Hahn. He's an expert for security and he built this showcase. Thank you so much for being here, Tobias. Thank you for the invitation, Christoph. I'm excited to use this hammer later. We are going to recreate break-ins with it. I've brought a display case with Silatec glass, which we'll test later. Well, we all know from the last museum break-ins why we need very secure showcases. But Tobias, could you be a little bit more precise about that? Well, first of all, it's about old and valuable items. And then, of course, it's about the material damage. This goes for museum and jewelry stores. And you will see how important good protection is. Often display cases have normal laminated security glass. I have a video showing you someone simply walks into a jewelry store takes out a hammer and smashes the display cases. This is definitely not burglar-proof glass. Well, this is definitely tempered glass and you should not use that for showcases. We can see with the first hit, this type of glass breaks into many, many pieces. You could use tempered glass, for example, for the side window of your car. That allows firefighters to smash the window and secure you if necessary. Now, we would like to demonstrate you how tempered glass and laminated glass react when we're attacking them. Tobias, would you like to smash the tempered glass with this emergency hammer? Yes, of course. Okay, hit it. Wow, one hit and the glass is gone. This is why you should never use tempered glass for display cases. Here we have the laminated glass. Tobias, you ready to smash it with a sledgehammer? Ready. Let's strike it. Okay, that was easy. So you demonstrated in quite an effective way that laminate glass is not suitable for burglar-proof showcases, neither for um, display cases. Uh, should we move on to the showcase? Christoph, what requirements are needed for safe display case glass? Well, okay. First, it needs to resist burglars for as long as possible, of course. We'll test it on the display case over there quite quickly. It should also be crystal clear and, of course, color neutral without the green tint often seen in laminated glass. Say, diamonds should sparkle as if you have them in your hands. The colors of the exhibits must appear just as they do in reality, without any distortion. Visitors shouldn't even notice the glass. It should also have UV protection to prevent yellowing, fading or other UV-related aging processes, especially for light-sensitive objects. Before we try to smash this display case here, Tobias, can you tell us the facts what else is important about showcases apart from the glass? Okay, let me briefly explain it here on the display case. There isn't an internationally re recognized standard for security levels in display cases. That's why we measure their security base on how long they stop burgers using typical tools. Besides the glass, the connection to the base is important to prevent thieves from taking the top part and running off with it. The second important factor is the connection points between the glass panels and the point where the display case can be opened. It's crucial that everything is securely and firmly connected here. Tobias, could you tell us a little bit more about the security locks? It's clear that bulgers shouldn't be able to open these locks with simple bulgary tools. That's why we use special high quality security locks. So all hinges, electronic components, and all sensitive equipment is hidden inside the showcase so that it's not possible to attack it. Okay, so far about the burglar-proof issues, but there is more consider, like environmental aspects. Could you give us some details about these? Exactly. We manage also temperature, humidity, and air quality inside the display case. Many materials need specific environmental conditions. For example, old books, textiles, or even mummies. Imagine this. There's a mummy with a lot of organic materials inside and the fabric's thousands of years old. 
it's extremely sensitive. That's why display cases have air filters to remove fine dust, for example. Moisture and temperature are carefully watched and we filter harmful gases that come sometimes from the exhibit itself. UV radiation is also important because it harms many materials over time. That's why our display case have UV protection. The artificial light is also adjusted to the exhibit and should not contain any UV. So, a good display case has two jobs. First, to stop things from being stolen. And second, to keep the exhibit safe from things like moisture and other factors. This is important for both jewelers who worry about theft and museums where environmental conditions are also a concern. To be honest, let's now attack the showcase. We do not attack this one, we prefer that one as this is a prototype brand new. In this showcase, we installed Silatec glass. It's this one here. And uh, to be as I assume you would like to try the sledgehammer again? Yes, I will. And let's try to break this glass hood. Maybe it's important to say that these yellow frames are not necessarily yellow, but can be any kind of color you wish. Okay, let's get serious. I suggest we start somewhere around here in the middle, strike it really, really hard, and then try to attack the edge and see if that is as secure as that part. Let's go. All right. You didn't get very far. I brought another tool that is used in practice, an X. And I would like to test that part here. Tobias, how about you? I will continue here. All right. That's what I call security. It's really strong. Yeah, Tobias, thank you so much for bringing all these showcases. By the way, this is how it looked before. This is how it looks now. I will put uh, Tobias Hahn's uh, contact details into the descriptions. If you do have further questions, please don't hesitate to ask him. And by the way, these showcases, they come in any dimensions. Four meters, five meters in one piece is no problem, is it? No, it isn't. Depending on the dimensions, you can deliver the glass. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Until then.